Hello, this is the very last part of the Crazy 8 campaign in Twisted Metal Black, brought to you by Rack and Rabbit Commentaries. And Warhawk is trying to talk to a man who can't talk back. Level no, Warhawk's eight. rooftop. So, mm, never cared for the fuzz. Always giving me a hard time, just because I was a bum. Man, I'm gonna enjoy gutting this pig. Dun 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 dun. Now, if you thought that minion was satisfying to have God mode on for, wait till you. uh... Oh, this is you having forgot that you can't damage Warhawk right now. Wait till you attend to problems that do not necessarily depend on your ability either to inflict damage or avoid damage. You still have to do the stupid line the oil tanker up minigame in order to blow up Warhawk, and you have to do this until his shield is destroyed. And if you miss, it's gonna take you even longer. See right there, it's, uh, I'm supposed to draw Warhawk over to the oil tanker, but that's not going to work. Um, looks like it's working there. Oh, you didn't wait long enough. No, nope, he didn't get close enough. So I have to wait for another oil tanker. You know There's what? There's another oil tanker. Uh, so what you should be doing here, given that the oil tanker's got minions flamethrower, is getting right underneath Warhawk and uh, just bringing the oil tankers to you. I think staying on the helipad at the very center of the arena is probably in your best interest. One of the most dangerous spots to be right now. But it also is one of the most likely places where Warhawk is going to try attacking you like that. <laughs> Can he actually melee you with those launchers on his face? Yeah. Dude, this is a twisted metal game. You can you can melee with vehicles. He has a he has a bayonet on the front of his on the front of his chopper. Wow. I mean, we never actually saw him uh, we never actually saw him uh, go with the uh, with the melee option with the yeah. launchers. Mostly because you were, you know, actually trying to do this fight legitimately instead of just sitting on the helipad. He was trying to do that. He was try he was definitely trying. Okay, now his shield is still up. Okay, we got to do it one more time. Yeah, because you didn't uh, didn't need the tanker at the right spot. Ah. Uh, when cheat codes fail. This isn't cheat codes failing. This is you forgetting how this fight goes. Uh, again, this was your first this was your first run back. Well, that is that is true is that in the order of when I recorded this because I used God Mode in order to reacquaint myself with the controls in this game without dying and still able to make a video I could fucking commentate on later like we're doing right now, that, yeah, I was a little rusty on this fight. But now Warhawk is toast because he does not have protection anymore. Um, no, I no, guess... No, his shield is just damaged. I he guess... He's got to do the cycle again. Yep, so not only was that not the final hit, he still got his fucking shield up. So I guess Warhawk doesn't count as an enemy because, yeah, because I noticed that the te now I noticed that the little dial that counts the number of enemies on the field, well now it's counting Warhawk because he's he, he didn't have a health bar before, but it's still not counting him because it's still zero. It just kept resetting one for each oil tanker that the game distributes, and there's no limit to the number yeah, of oil tankers right. that can you, come well, out. Now you're not firing your machine gun, but. Also, your uh, special isn't working because you're not damaged. Damn it. Um, how about... Uh, homing missiles after I back up... ...off the cliff. Alright, you bastard. Ah, oh, come on. The homing missiles, they do nothing. He's moving too fast. The missiles cannot keep up with him. Oh, those did. Uh, I was hoping you'd actually be firing your machine, um, your firing your machine gun, so we could actually have vi uh, visual tests for that. But you've already given up firing your machine gun. It's, at him. You, you're not, you're not going to hit Warhawk with your machine guns. Trust me. Don't even try. If homing, if homing missiles can miss, then what the hell chance does a machine gun bullet have that just flies off in a straight line? And yeah, your special just straight up doesn't work on him. Oh yes, damaged. it does. Bloody finish. So what do you know? I was the winner.
Calypso's contest was over and I was the champ. And true to his word, the man delivered the goods. I got my prize. Bastille Drama! He even had a special bonus lined up for me. <laughs> it fit perfect, like we was meant to be together. I had seen fear in a man's eyes before. How are you seeing it all, No Face? Special. That is a good question. I think that doctor, he knew payback was going to be brutal. It's funny, after all these I would years, not I still got some want snap to be in that left hook on the receiving end of that. You know, that was the first time I ever knocked someone out with one punch. You know, he just kind of like went limp. You know, like he was dead or something. I don't know. It felt like a good boxing glove. Uh, honestly, I think No Face should uh, should have had Calypso use his uh, use his connections to uh, to reestablish mm, maybe not his face, but at least his uh, at least his ocular organs. Well, I, I I think that Calypso might have given him like powers of sight so that he can actually like appreciate the kill. And here is the uh, here is the movies theater where you can see all of the videos that you've been collecting as you've been playing through this game. The latter two are locked. You can watch each up uh, each prologue for each character you've unlocked as long as you've unlocked them first. Again, most of the unlockable characters do not have a prologue or a middle, so their epilogue probably also will be locked because you have to beat the game with that character in order to have the epilogue cutscene unlocked, which you can view here. And there's No Face again. Oh, the, you just finished No Face's campaign. Why isn't why is his stuff locked out? Uh, this is a different can. No, wait, no. This is 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 either the same canon or a different profile. I think I went to a different profile in order to record this. Oh. Okay. Doll face. It's dark side. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Rated R. Film not yet rated. Raven. Goth chicks. Mr. Kane and Mr. Son. Kane and Son. And again, because we have an unlocked yellow jacket in this playthrough, he's not unlocked yet. <laughs> he could. Can you feel his pain? Cage. That is war. Not Luke Cage, just Cage. Cage is a complete psychopath, and you should probably not cross his path. Black is an even bigger psychopath. His dark side. He drives manslaughter, and he likes going to the dump. Oh, he drives manslaughter. Okay. And of course, sweet tooth. Sweet tooth. So, if you have nostalgia for this game, you may spend some time at the movies, because the cutscenes are cool, and they are just as memorable as they always were. Now, for the purpose of this commentary playthrough, we do have other non-story modes here. Let's try challenge mode. Mm, so, this is effectively free play, right? Uh, not free play. This is, like, make your own, make your own challenge. First, you pick your vehicle, and then you pick your opponent's vehicles. So yeah, effectively a de deathmatch free play. Yeah. Now I believe for the purpose of this playthrough, actually, I'm just going to be doing... I'm going to be doing challenge mode only once, but while playing as Mr. Grimm. Okay. Post-traumatic stress disorder, cannibalistic tendencies. Mr. Grimm was accused and probably had evidence of eating his own friend. Okay. Really, they qualify sub they they qualify suburbs as massive. Hmm. Prison passage, massive. I agree. Large. Okay, what's the difference between large and massive size maps? Large is not as big as massive. Small, of course, is the smallest of all. The suburbs are pretty big. Yeah, I think I think Zerko Brothers Scrap and Salvage will do. Or do I just pick random cars? No, I think I actually am selective about the cars that I pick. Outlaw. All right, so Saturday nights for the boys. So I'm just picking the males for this match. Well, Sweet Tooth doesn't technically have a gender, but no, he's 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 a man. He's he's a well, I mean he. 
This isn't a man. No, tell me, what are we dealing with? We are dealing with evil. <laughs> and in the next part, challenge mode.